Hello my dear students. Today we are going to continue with our subject digital logic design. But today's interaction topic is examples on logic gates and Boolean algebra. In the previous two lectures we studied different logic gates and basic or fundamentals of Boolean algebra. Depends upon this logic knowledge we are going to solve different examples based on logic gates and boolean algebra let's start with examples on logic gates let's start with the once again basic knowledge of the gates there are three basic gates two universal gates and two special gates these are the respective symbols and these are the equivalent mathematical equation or you can say boolean equation of each and every gate take first example that is draw a circuit logic circuit for the equation is bracket a plus b bracket complete into c before going to solve this example draw the logic diagram we have to analyze first this boolean equation in this boolean equation how many terms are present? There are two terms. The first term is A plus B and the second term is C. So there are two terms A plus B and the second term is C. So first analyze term first A plus B. What is the relation between these two variables? A and B are inputs but they are logically orring with each other. So we have to use R gate with the inputs of A and B. So it produces A plus B. Then next third term C. It is the let's concern with these two terms. First term and second term. What is the relation between these two terms? Logically ending. The output of R gate A plus B is input to the AND gate and another input is a C. It produces a plus B into C that is a logically ending of first term with the second term. Let's continue with the se second example. Draw a logic circuit for the equation A plus BC plus D complement. Okay. Again before going to draw the circuit let's find out how many terms are there. Term first A, term second BC and third term is D complement. So, first analyze second term B and C. What is the relation between these two terms? So, what is the relation between these two variables? The B and C are logically ending with each other. Logically ending with each other. So, use AND gate with the inputs of B and C. So, it produces B, C. Then, Observe each and every term. This is the term A and term D complement. So we have to take the complement of input D. So we use NOT gate. So it produces D complement. Then in the first term and second term, what is the relation? Logically R in. In the second term and third term, what is the relation? Logically R in. So in the term first, second and third they are logically orring with each other so use R gate with the inputs of A with the inputs of output of AND gate BC and the output of NOT gate D complement so it produces A plus BC plus D complement in the similar way we can take one more examples there are two examples you can go through and take how to solve this example I will continue with this one okay in this example there are three terms a plus b complement the second term is c plus d and the third term is c complement first what is the relation between these two terms they are logically nor with each other so we have to use logical nor gate with the inputs of a and b a and b logically not produces a plus b complement that is the first term in the second term 
they are c and d are two variables but they are logically are with each other so c and d logically are produces c plus d in the third term that is it needs c complement so gives input c to the not gate it produces c complement and what is the relation between these three terms they are logically ending with each other so output of first nor gate is the input of and gate the output of nor gate that is c complement is second input to the and gate and the third that is output of or gate is the input for the and gate so if you observe carefully this is a three input and one output and gate in this way we can simplify this or you can draw the boolean logic diagram of given boolean equation or boolean algebra in the upcoming part that second se part of this sessions examples on the boolean algebra we know that when we are going to when we are discuss with the boolean algebra that is fundamental of boolean algebra we study what is the need of boolean algebra to simplify uh, to minimize number of gates we need boolean algebra how to boolean algebra by using boolean algebra algebra how to number of gates are minimized are show in upcoming examples these are the different laws or you can say theorems which are useful for the simplification of the boolean algebra or boolean equations such as commutative associative distributive de morgan's double negation complement independent law identity law annulment law these are different laws with the help of this basic law we are able to solve different boolean algebra equations in the first problem statement using boolean algebra techniques that is different laws simplify these expressions the expression is a b plus a in the bracket b plus c plus b in the bracket b plus c this is the given equation we have to simplify that okay first remove the parenthesis what are the bracket are there just multiply this variable with inside the bracket so we are getting a b first term as it is in the second term we are getting a b plus a c plus b into b plus b into c these are the next step of after solving this parenthesis then apply different rules b into b becomes d these are the basic laws we we are studying the previous lectures next it is applied to the fourth term so the above equation becomes after using this rule a b as it is this second term a b is also as it is this third term a c is also as it is plus this b into b becomes b so i don't single b plus b into c then in the first term take a b common what will be remaining a b a after taking a b common 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 becomes 1 so a b plus a b becomes a b so this equation becomes after applying this rule is a b plus a c plus b plus b c then apply the rule to last term two terms that is a b plus b c is equal to b how it comes take a common from this b what will be remaining 1 plus c and there is a law that is a basic laws in this laws we know that 1 plus c is 1 so b into 1 becomes b after applying this law to this equation the equation will be reduced to a b plus a c plus b okay and last apply the again law that is the first to third term take b common in the first and third term what will be remaining a b plus b this is the third term take b common 1 plus a which is equal to b so b plus a c is the 
shortest form of this given expressions so if you observe carefully this boolean algebra is a technique in which we can easily reduce the biggest form of equation to the smallest one and due to this we can minimize the number of logic gates as shown in figure this if you observe carefully in this diagram we use 1 2 3 4 5 5 logic gates and after reduction of this we have to use only two gates this first and two gates so log boolean algebra is a very basic need which will be minimize the largest circuit to the smallest one by using small small rules or theorems then next take one more example in this example we have to simplify the given equation that is the a plus c first bracket a b plus a d second bracket plus a c plus c okay write down the original equation as it is a plus c a d plus a d plus a c plus c first we write down original expressions then in the second term if you observe carefully there are a d plus a d here a is the common so take a is common no change the first term a into bracket d plus d plus a c plus c these these are the again modify equation after using different uh, rules then next in the second term d plus d as per our basic boolean algebra or boolean laws we know that we use some laws that is the a plus a which is the or laws which is equal to the a so this a d plus d is nothing but 1 so we are going to use a plus a c plus c so take one more time a plus c in the bracket a plus a c plus c again from this three terms we use we take a as a common what will remaining a plus c plus c plus c a plus c plus c these are the three common terms that is commuted to and distributed to law next after that a plus c because c plus c becomes c so it takes on the c plus c next remove the parenthesis a into a a into c plus c when that a into a becomes a take c common what will be remaining a plus 1 okay and a plus 1 that is 1 plus a becomes 1 that is identical law so a plus c this is the reducible equation of our given problem statement then this one more equation just write down all the original expression as it is then remove parenthesis a into a a into b plus b plus a in the bracket a plus b plus a into bracket d next after that just know that a into a we have to take a these are the after solving this parenthesis we are getting a b plus b plus a in the bracket a plus b plus a into bracket b these are the two equations okay then just remove parenthesis of these two terms after remove parenthesis of these two terms what we are getting we are getting these terms b into b 
a into a a b okay next this will be again reduced to form of this equation this is a a is common b plus 1 plus b inside the bracket 1 plus b becomes 1 so it will be a into 1 becomes a again take a common what will be the remaining a plus a into a plus b which is the a plus b after taking common a we are getting a plus b these are the very smallest reduced version of these boolean expressions in the similar way we can able to solve this one more examples a b plus a in the bracket b plus c plus b into bracket b plus c just remove parenthesis of the second term and third term the a b plus a b plus a c plus b into b plus b c okay b into b becomes b so this will be reduced to b these are the reduction after getting this law next a b plus a b is nothing but only a b plus a c plus b plus b c when that p plus b c after taking b is common 1 plus c so b is the remaining so terms are a b plus a c plus b next after in the term first and term third we take b as a common what will be remaining 1 plus a and 1 plus a is nothing but 1 so b into 1 becomes b plus a c so after before reduction boolean algebra we have to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gates and when we use different rules of the Boolean algebra or Boolean theorems, then we only require 2 gates. So this is the major difference to how to, why to learn the Boolean algebra or Boolean techniques. These are the another examples. Let's go through this with example is x plus y. This is the first term. x plus y complement is the second term and x bar plus z this is the third term okay first go through with the first two parentheses the first parenthesis is x plus y plus x plus y complement just multiply each variable inside the bracket x into x x into x plus x into y bar plus x into y plus y into y bar x into x becomes x y into y bar becomes 0 that is the and law next y bar plus y becomes 1 that is the r law and x into 1 becomes x that is the identity law of the and gate after applying this all laws we are getting x plus x inside bracket y bar plus y and y bar plus y is in the r gate is nothing but 1 so this will be 1 so x plus x is remaining and take x as a common it is remaining 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is again into 1 so x will be remaining in the first two then take reduction reduced form of this first two bracket is x and the third term x bar plus z that is x into x bar plus z so multiply this variable inside the bracket x into x bar plus x z definitely x into x bar will be 0 because it is the and law plus x z okay what will be remaining x z will be remaining so this equation again reduced to smallest boolean algebra or boolean expressions this is another example just analyze this example what are the different steps what are the different rules we are used to reduce this expression okay first write down the equation as it is in the second term that first and second term we use a b common c plus c complement plus a bar into b c plus c bar is nothing but 1 because the, that is the R law that is the remaining is a b 
and the second term a bar b in the both terms b is a common take b is a common a plus a bar this again r log and this is equal to the 1 so 1 into b becomes b this is the reduced form of given expressions thank you very much i hope so with the help of this basic information of logic gates as well as fundamental knowledge of Boolean algebra we are little bit easy to solve we are ready to solve different expressions of Boolean algebra and by using these rules we can modify this largest equation to the smallest one or reduce the form and due to this the number of gates required to build this circuit is very small this is this is the overview of today's interaction thank you very much if any doubt if any suggestions please put in your comment box thank you very much